everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be going through five reasons why you will be a successful artist. And whilst I'm talking through that, I'm going to be working on another sketch. And if you guys wanna know what materials I'm using for this sketch, then I have listed them in the description, as well as the links to where you can get them if you wanna try them out. And also, I've been really enjoying looking at all of your work you've been sending me on Instagram. So a lot of you have been tagging me and mentioning me in your Instagram posts. And I love to see all of the sketches and drawings you're working on. So make sure you keep doing that. My Instagram is at Kirsty's Art. But anyway, guys, let's get on to today's art topic. So recently I did a video called five reasons you won't be a successful artist where I talk through some barriers that you might be facing which is preventing you from becoming a successful artist and how you can overcome that. And so in this video I thought I'd talk through five different reasons why you are more likely to be successful nowadays and things that are really great now that will help you become more of a successful artist. Firstly, success can mean different things to different people depending on what their goals and aims are for that art. So the three main categories that I'm going to be talking about is success in terms of artistic skill. You might wanna to get to a certain level of skill with your drawings and your paintings and get to a certain level of artistic excellence. Another one is you might want to be aiming for success in terms of exposure, the reach of your art, getting the most amount of people to see it as possible and getting your name well known. And the third way is like financial success. So being able to support yourself, have a career, earn money doing it, selling your art and all of that sort of stuff. So anyway, guys, let's get straight into it with reason number one. So the first reason why you're more likely to be successful nowadays is that you have so many online resources. And I know I talk about that a lot, but I'm gonna talk about it a bit more. So you can have resources not only to better yourself and to like learn new skills or to improve your skills. So whether that's art skills, there's so many YouTube channels that offer free tutorials, or if you have a problem, you can just Google it, you can search it. If you have a problem or an issue or something you need to fix, whether that's a question about like, the business side of art, whether you wanna know how you can make money at art, or if you think, oh, okay, I've got this medium, how do I use it? Nowadays, you can just Google that stuff and find your answers. So it's a lot easier to improve your art. And so nowadays, it's going to be a lot easier to advance your art skills a lot quicker because you have the resources on hand and the people that you can go to that are experts in their professions and their certain mediums, and you can just look at what they do. And so it's a lot easier to evolve your art and you don't have to go through as much trial and error as you would have had to before. And so you could be more successful because you can get further quicker. So the second reason you can be a successful artist is that you can reach so many more people nowadays with your art than you ever could before. So now with the internet and all of the social media accounts like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and all of that stuff, you can reach a worldwide audience and you're not limited to where you are, where you live because you can reach everyone around the world just by building up these social media accounts. And also there's a lot of social media accounts like on Instagram, like featuring accounts for art and they can help give you exposure. So there is so many more opportunities to really get your art out there and make people see it. And the internet is such a wonderful thing and it means that you can connect with everyone and really form a community and build a community for yourself around people that will love your art. So if success for you is getting your art seen by as many people as possible, then now is definitely the best time for you to achieve that. So the third reason that you can be a successful artist is that it's so much easier to create your own products nowadays and sell them to a mass audience and a large range of people. Because you can easily now, if you've got a decent camera, go and film a drawing course or an art course and sell that to your fans. Or you can offer services, like if you're really good at drawing or a certain type of medium, then you could offer critiques or sell tutorials, individual tutorials, or offer like one-on-one -on -one sort of tuition. And you could sell prints of your art through things like Etsy or Redbubble where they print it on like loads of different things so it's so much more accessible to make loads of products and merchandise for yourself and sell that and that's a really great way of making money as an artist and also there's all these crowdfunding sites like Patreon where you can offer rewards to your fans so you can get like a 
stable monthly income through that and there's just so many more revenue streams that you can try and implement yourself it's not necessarily easy but it's like you'll have to learn how to do these things but you can do it if you want to there's no real barriers to stop you creating products for yourself so that's a really great thing and it's a really great way to support yourself and make a living as an artist and to create your own business really so the fourth reason that you can be a successful artist is that it's so much easier to earn a living online through creating like many revenue streams you don't have to be employed by a large company anymore and just like sell your art in a gallery to be successful there's not only one way of doing things nowadays you can be an artist in so many different ways there's not one type of artist you can do whatever you want and be whatever sort of artist you want and there's going to be an audience for that that enjoys that and because nowadays you've got this large audience that you can promote yourself to there's bound to be a group of people that are really going to enjoy what you do and support you and love your art and love the style of your art and like the products that you offer so you're not limited to having to fit into this certain type of artist stereotype you can do what you want and there's so much more flexibility and you can really be unique without feeling like you have to do what everybody else is doing and so the fifth reason why you're more likely to be successful nowadays is that the internet already has a community of artists whether that's on YouTube or all these social media accounts and artists that you can look up to so if you find artists that you really are inspired by and people that are kind of doing what you want to do so artists that are following the same sort of career path that you want to take depending on what type of artist you want to be and you can like do your research and really see how they're making their money how they're making their living and how they're able to support themselves as an artist so before the internet you weren't necessarily able to follow an artist's progress and literally see them grow their business whereas nowadays you can see you can go back to when that artist started say if they were on YouTube you can go back to three years ago four years ago see how they started see how they progressed you can literally just follow their whole journey up to the present day just to see how they got where they are you can see how their drawing skills progressed you can see how they implemented certain things if you really know what you're looking for then you can literally figure out how they were able to build their business look at what products they're selling how are they kind of making their money do they offer certain services do they offer certain products like prints and different merchandise do they have a crowdfunding site so there's a lot of things that you can pick up and learn from looking at what other artists do and that's really really important because you you take out all of the trial and error and all of the guesswork by looking at the really successful artists and seeing what they're doing because if they're successful they're probably doing something right so it's really important to research what other artists are doing and just learn more about the business side of it because that is the most important part of being successful as an artist a lot of artists kind of focus on the art side of it but the thing that makes them fall down and doesn't allow them to be successful and maintain themselves financially as an artist is that they don't focus on the business side they don't see it as necessarily important and they don't necessarily see themselves as having a small business they just think of it as a job or a career when it is actually a business and you need to think about it with a strategy and a business plan so those are my five reasons for why you definitely can be a successful artist but I really recommend checking out my other video which is titled five reasons why you won't be a successful artist and a lot of people have got that completely wrong and like took that title to mean something that it's not. It's actually a very motivational video and it's just explaining some of the barriers and mindsets that you might have at the moment that are preventing you. It's not saying that you won't be successful it just means that at the moment you might be doing things that are stopping and preventing you from being successful because even though there is so many opportunities for you to be able to become a successful artist you still won't be able to achieve that if you don't have the right mindset and a positive outlook on how you're going to achieve it so I definitely recommend that video 
Also, guys, I'd love to hear what are your tips for being a successful artist? Have you got any things to stay motivated and encouraged through this long journey to become successful? And also, what other videos would you guys like to see? But anyway, guys, that's it from me. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you hit that subscribe button for future advice videos and also tutorials. And if you do want to see more tutorials, then I've got loads of real-time tutorial series for realistic drawing over on my Patreon, whether that is graphic colour pencil, markers, watercolours, all of that stuff. So if you want to improve your drawing skills, make sure you check out my Patreon. But that's it from me and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.